I'm Carrie Crispiano, and today in my kitchen, we're going to be making sunny lemon bars. So first we're going to start with the crust because a lemon bar isn't really a lemon bar without crust. So I'm going to combine, well, I'm, first I'm going to melt two sticks of butter. That will take a bit. And I feel like I'm melting. I am going to combine, oh, forgot my measuring spoon. Two cups of all-purpose flour, a half a cup of granulated sugar. I use a knife to make sure I have the perfect amount of flour and sugar and all that other dry stuff. One. Four, half cup granulated sugar. Ooh, there's my flour, there's my butter. I'll go get that in just a minute. And I'm just gonna start with the rest, just do the rest of my wet ingredient and dry ingredients. And I'm not going to put in my vanilla extract yet because it just will take, it will just get kind of infused into the dry ingredients and it kind of just kind of disappear. I need to put it in when there's other wet stuff in it. So part of being a good baker is dry cleanup, which I'm not very good at, but fortunately my parents remind me how to do it. Pour your flour into your butter. I mean, pour your butter into your flour. And you're going to use the spatula to just get that all combined. Okay, there we go. It's pretty combined to me. You can just combine a little more when you put in the vanilla. So I don't measure vanilla. I think that's just weird. So just put in a dash. And maybe just use the cap. a little too much vanilla because vanilla makes things a lot better than they would be if they didn't have vanilla because vanilla adds a lot of flavor not just vanilla flavor it kind of adds just you know inner sweetness that's like not sweet <laughs> if that's even a thing i don't know i'm going to bring this over here i'm going to use this cutting board and everything later press it down a little bit probably should grease it but you know what too bad I'm just gonna take this awesome crust, just press it in there. And you use your hands because it just gets the job done better than any other cooking tool. And to move it over a little bit, you can just like use your hand and make like a little cup formation. You can just kind of scoot it over a little bit. It's pretty good, don't you? So I'm gonna wash my hands to get all that butter off of it. Butter's really hard to wash off. Trusty dish towel. And I'm gonna put this in the oven. So it's a 350 degree oven. You need to preheat it because if you don't preheat it, then it's not gonna be hot enough and you have, have to put your dish in for a long time. It is hot, but I really don't mind putting it on the stove because. So, now to make the lemon filling, which is the best, trust me, I'm going to whisk some granulated sugar. It's two and a fourth cups, but since I don't like sugar that much in my lemon stuff because it makes it taste way too sweet, I'm just going to shorten that down to two. 
do me my trusty back of the knife again. So. My flour. I'm having, I'm adding six tablespoons. Because this is being baked, you need a little bit of flour for stability. When I was first starting out baking, I didn't know that you needed, or that it was more efficient to use the back of the knife, so never used one. Looks mostly whisked. Then I have six eggs, and I'm going to crack six eggs <laughs> in here. Sugar together. So it's all combined. Now, I'm going to set this aside and grab a lemon. And we have one cup of lemon juice to measure, so wish me luck. You roll a lemon on the table or the cutting board, in my case, because it will, it will give more juice because it's little atom thingy. It's juice glands will give out more juice because it will be opened up. I'm just gonna squeeze and squeeze. When you squeeze its heart out, use the other hand. This whole lemon shebang over to the other counter. That is nice and quick done. So now we have our par baked crust. Par baked means it's partially baked, you know, par is partially. Right? And then pre baked means it's pre baked, it's already baked. This one is par baked because it's going to be back in the oven. It doesn't matter um, how hot the crust is, because I mean it's gonna be baking anyway, so pull the crust around. Alright. I'm gonna set this to the side. Okay, get it ready. Put it in. Take this carefully because it does have a liquid in it. It's been 25 minutes, and so now I think they're ready to come out. You know when they can come out when the center doesn't jiggle anymore and the filling looks kind of bubbly and puffy on top? Oops. I think that looks good. So, the lemon bars have cooled to room temperature, and now we're going to make them into bars. And I'm going to plate them. So you're just gonna, you can really cut these however you want, but since I'm going to plate them all nice, I'm gonna cut them in little rectangles. Hmm. Here, and I'm gonna go down, take out it. Not the best plater, but this looks okay for the first one because as I always say, the first one is always the worst one. So you've plated it, and now we're gonna get to dusting it with powdered sugar. So we're gonna go over, grab a spoon, what we're gonna do, just gonna kind of spread the sugar around a little bit so there's no big bumps. We're gonna put it in the sieve, over the bowl first, so that it doesn't like a giant thing of powdered sugar over the entire thing. We're just gonna do, just bump it lightly, or shake it, whichever way you want. I find bumping more efficient. We just bump. Makes it come bumpy. Go. 
that's Homemade Sunny Lemon Bars.